Welcome back to English Words the Germans Use Wrongly. In part one, we covered handy, public viewing, wellness, home office, shitstorm. But there's plenty more where that came from. Here we go. In English, a mob is a rowdy group of people. To mob is to crowd into or around. Yobs can mob, sales shoppers can mob, fans can mob. Then, of course, there's the mob which refers to the mafia. But in German, mobbing specifically means bullying, usually at school or in the workplace. A German asks you to send them something by mail. You're a little thrown, but hey, sure, there are still plenty of fans of analog here. You search your house for an envelope, buy a stamp, and pop it in the post box. Of course, it turns out they actually meant email. English mail, German mail. This is a personal pet hate. The Germans like to look down on inferior bread-making cultures. And fair enough, they have great bread. But that does not excuse this abuse of the English language. The Germans call this toast. I call this toast. The verb to toast means to cook or brown something by exposure to radiant heat. Toast is only toast if it's been toasted. Therefore this, however unappetizing you might find it, it's still bread. We need to clear this one up. If someone starts talking to you in German about a shooting, don't worry. They're probably just talking about a photography or a filming session. The correct English term would be a shoot, a subtle but very important difference. Shooting star, a meteor that produces a bright light as it passes through the Earth's atmosphere. The Germans have rather poetically adopted this as a specific term for someone who has shot to success. But the sad thing about a shooting star is that it burns out pretty quickly. Okay, now it's over to you. Which other words have taken on a totally new meaning in German? And not just English words. Let's take this global. Leave us a comment.